Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to quickly take a look at another handy feature in React Router, which is relative links. To understand what it is, let's go back to our products page. At the moment, when we click on featured, the URL changes to slash products slash feature. And when we click on new, it changes to slash products slash new. And that is because of the relative links we have specified. A relative link is a link that does not start with a forward slash and will inherit the closest route in which they are rendered. Since the products page is rendered at slash products, the featured link will append slash featured to slash products and the new link will append slash new to slash products, which is what is happening in the browser. Now, if you wish to use absolute paths, the path would not be slash featured or slash new. This will construct the path from the root of the app and not the current URL. If we take a look at the browser, you can see that when I click on new, it navigates to slash new. When I click on featured, it navigates to slash featured. The links are breaking. To make this work with absolute links, you need to add slash products slash featured and slash products slash new. Only then would it work as expected. Let me switch back to relative links. So that is a quick video about relative links in React Router. Relative paths or relative links don't start with a forward slash and will inherit the closest route in which they are rendered. They're very useful when you have to link deeply nested paths. Absolute links are of course still valid but make more sense for components like the primary navigation bar. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.